beautiful people, I'm Rach Phoenix and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the unboxing and install for this wig. If you'd like to see, then keep on watching. Starting off with the packaging, this is the Bobbi Boss Glueless Lace Wig. I have it in the style Nora and this is the color HH1B RD613. Here is the info card that it comes with. On the front you will see additional colors. Inside they show you different parting options and then on the back additional information about the lace. Here is the star of the show. So as you can see on one side we have black and then on the other side we have red with a streak of blonde hair. It already comes with baby hairs and then on the inside you can see that it has the 13 by 4 inch deep lace. You have two combs and then in the back an additional comb along with adjustable straps. This is what the lace is looking like straight out of the box and against my complexion. I will be tinting it with an all over face powder. This is what it looks like after the tint. But honestly, the real magic happens when you bring your contour shade up to the lace. That's what I'll do later. Starting off by putting the wig on and just figuring out the placement for where I want it to be. And I ain't gonna lie, I was jamming to Victoria Monet throughout this video, singing, maybe talking to myself. So if you see me mouthing things, girl, either I'm talking about the lace or I'm just singing. I'm just singing, y'all. And as you can see, I keep adjusting it because I don't believe that this wig is big head friendly. Um, not to say that if you have a big head, you can't work with it. I definitely think you can still figure it out. Maybe do a little snip by the ear or whatever. I've seen people make smaller wigs work, but just giving you a forewarning, I don't think this wig is big head friendly. To lay my lace, I'm going to be using the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray. I'm going to just spray on some first and then I'm going to go in with my blow dryer and it is on cool. So I'm just working in sections. I'm not too concerned about the lace itself. Um, just wiping off any excess with a paper towel for the product that starts to get a little crazy. But mostly just focusing on placement here and then after that we'll clean up and get more detailed about really laying the lace. So this is kind of like a making sure it's where I need it to be on the head and just getting any excess hair that I know I'm gonna cut off later out of the way. Using my cuticle scissors, I'm going to be gently, slowly cutting away at the excess lace. I ended up using cuticle scissors because I saw Miss Rajpas use them and I was just like, wow, this is great because now I don't have these large chunky scissors that I'm using. So shout out to Miss Rajpas for that. And I'm mostly paying attention to where like my edges are and trying to keep a little bit more extra lace there to cover them up. Even though I'm still going to be using edges from the wig itself to kind of cover up my hair. I'm not going to lie, I was kind of struggling around the ear part because there is some lace that was going to be covering my ear and I was doing my best to cut it while it was still on my head. So. Yeah, there was a little bit of struggle, but you know, we got it. Sectioning off the hair that I'm going to be using to create my sideburns. And here I am, jamming. Victoria Monet was, was going on, was going on in the background for sure. Going in with the cuticle scissors again, what I do is I just twist my hair and I cut it at different sections. Now for here I did too much of a big cut, like you're supposed to do little snips kind of up and down like the hair shaft. So that's why it's a little bit more blunt, but 
it's okay, we're still gonna make it work. Grabbing my flat iron, I'm gonna be using this to curl my sideburns. I think for this, I was holding the flat iron a little bit too close to like at an angle going inward. So when I laid it down, I was like, girl, what? Like, um, that's not what I was really going for. So <laughs> I made sure that I don't, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's like I'm kind of tugging more towards my ear at this point. So that's what's going to help the curl kind of go more in the direction towards my ear as opposed to when I was going closer towards inwards on my face. It's, it's one of those little subtle shifts that help. And see, like, this is where I'm trying to map out, like, this is how I wanted it to lay. Like, that's what I was going for. So whatever I did, that little subtle change really helped. Now I'm grabbing baby hairs again and just going to flat iron those, even though it's already kind of curled it I don't know it just helps me with getting my baby hairs to lay the way I want them to so I'd rather curl them with a the flat iron as opposed to just going with how they already were because also they were kind of like all over the place so yeah flat iron to the rescue both sides are finished now I'm gonna be actually doing the detail work going in with my blasting free spray again starting off with the sideburns you can see I'm like I'm rubbing my finger against it to kind of help with the placement and just sticking it down to where I want it to be gonna do that with the entire perimeter of my baby hair just mapping it out first without any product and then once I figure out where I'm putting it doing that little dab motion that wipe dabbing motion with the product and going in finally with the blow dryer to really set it into place this part I'm paying attention to anywhere where I see the lace like slightly lifted at the edge going in with that blasting free spray spraying the little bit just really melting it down making sure that you can't see any of the lace lifting through those little peaks of the baby hair grabbing my elastic band I'm tying this on the head probably leaving it for I'd say 10 minutes, but sometimes I get a snack after this, so maybe it's longer, but we aim for 10 minutes. We aim for 10. After that, took my elastic band off, letting the hair out. So I already know I'm parting this on the black side, but for anybody who may be interested in seeing what it looks like if you part it on the red side, this is gonna be a little bit of a, a messy part. I, I did kind of struggle a little bit with separating that side because the red side does tangle a lot easier than the black side. But just showing y'all, if anybody wanted to see what this wig looks like parted from the red side, this is what it looks like. trying to give y'all a 360 moment a little bit right here and also just keep in mind like how you part it because you can see the wig cap peeking through if you don't part the lace like in a rounded curve so just pointing that out parting on the black side because I know this is the side I am committed to I'm gonna get my part right and then after that we are going to set it in place 
I try to be all technical, line it up with like the inner portion of my eyebrow. You, you don't have to do all that. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it look clean or calculated. It, it, it don't really have to be like that, but that's what I did. That's what I did. See, here I go, struggling just a little bit. So just pointing out, this hair does tangle easily. It, it, at the ends and on the red side, it definitely tangles easily. Here is a wax stick. It's the Argoat Hair Wax Stick. I got this from Amazon. Nothing super special about it. It was just at a great price, so that's what I use. Going in with a hot comb, setting this part into place. In the parting, I'm going to be placing my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. This is in the shade 9. Again, use whatever concealer you want. There's nothing really super specific about it. This is just the concealer I'll be using every now and then. But mostly it's been going into the parting of my wigs. What I'm doing is I'm just lightly tapping it into my parting and I use my finger to kind of diffuse the product more so it doesn't look like a super stark line of product and it's more diffused and natural looking. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I ended up installing this wig again because the day that I actually filmed this, girl, I was tired. I was way too tired. I cannot give y'all the full fantasy. So I reinstalled it and I'm just giving y'all 360 now of what the hair looks like. Of course, you know, I like to give y'all length check, show you how far down it goes to the back and just showing y'all with the parting, like how it would look 360 around. Here's a look at the lace. Like I said, this is why I feel like it's not big head friendly because you can see closer towards my ear where my natural hair is poking out. But honestly, it's not that deep because I'm not going in a crazy wind where y'all gonna see that. Don't even worry about that. Just, just look at the hair that you see. Don't be looking by my ears. The hair is giving, the look is giving, and I really like this wig. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bless up and until next time, sending out much peace, love, and enlightenment. Bye guys.